Your body is banging, baby. I love the way you're flowing. Time to give it to daddy. Sugar, now tell me how you want it. All right. We into our next ramen video. This uh, this one is the pork one, so it's not the chicken. So, you know, totally different one. I'm not going to keep doing the same one. That wouldn't make sense. But, yeah, update to this. Uh, I got the box on this side looking better, so it's not two boxes, you know. Like, we got, we got, it's still two boxes, but it wasn't look like two full boxes. So, got it cut, got it looking good, you know, smoothed out the sides there and everything. You know, cleared it out a little bit over there. And it'll look a lot nicer. Yeah. What you think about that? Um, mochi. I'm like, fine. Everybody else is sleeping. All right. But we got that done. Uh, I don't think there's anything else too much. But we're about to get into the pork one. So this one, this one, I think it's a different brand. It's the... Yeah, I don't even know if I want to try to say what this is called. Mar... Maruchan. Maruchan. I'll leave you guys to your opinions on what you think this is. So I say Maruchan or something like that. But it's a ramen noodle soup, the, the pork flavor. So we're about to give that a try. Obviously, again, I'm going to rate it based on 0 to 10 on tastiness and 0 to 10 on spiciness. I, the spiciness, again, goes from 0 to 10. 0 is a regular chicken ramen, and 10 is Toe of Satan hot. If you guys don't know what the Toe of Satan is, I suggest you try it. But beware, that is very, very hot. It's made with chili extract. There's nothing natural like that. All right. So... I don't expect this one to be super hot. It's probably going to be pretty, probably pretty, I don't know. Like, you know, it's probably going to be very close to the chicken one, to be honest. Like the pork, the chicken, the shrimp one, the main ones like that. It's probably going to be very close to that one. It's, it's not going to be really uh, too hot at all. To be honest, with my taste buds, it's probably going to be like nothing. Literally nothing. Some people that got really sensitive taste buds, it's probably going to be like, that's hot. But it's not. And actually, to be honest, probably, they probably won't even be like that either. And again, we got our rapid ramen cooker. You know, we got to have that in there. We got to, yeah, we're excited for this and stuff, and you know. All right, so we're into making again. You're probably, oh, I forgot to tell you what's new. Remember last time I had the writing all on my arm and everything? Yeah, well, I was not liking that because it was starting to hurt my skin. It was giving me a lot of problems and all that stuff. It was getting on my face when I was sleeping and on my other arm, and I was like, this is supposed to be permanent marker. It's supposed to last. But it didn't stay on that arm too much. I had to keep putting it on multiple times a day, even though it was um, Sharpie. So it's kind of stupid. But now what I did was I have different colored um, zip ties, I think they're called, and attached to a rubber band. And each one represents each one of the things that was on my arm. And I have it all marked down on a list. So, yeah, I think this is a lot better. And me having no OCD, I do not like having things on my wrist. I cannot wear bracelets. I cannot wear rings. I can only wear chains, which actually right now I don't have any on, but probably will. You'll see me more with stuff on, but, um, yeah. So it's very annoying to me, especially when I sleep, it starts poking me and it's like, ow. And it's like, so it trains me into improving what I need to improve. So yeah. Oh, uh, we got our rapid ramen, you know, maker. I'm going to get this in the mix, you know? All right. So got some nice you have to try. You have to try. You have to try. Bolt 24. You have to try. You have to. This is actually good. I, I'm, on, I'm all for that. You have to try Bolt 24. Strawberry watermelon. With the, uh, with, with the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the antioxidants. Antioxidant. Antioxidant. But, um, <laughs> so, let me just tell you this. This gives you energy, and it's natural energy. It's not like an energy drink. So, guess what happens? You get natural energy, and it's actually healthy to drink it. Other than a little bit of sugar that's to it, but a little bit of sugar, and, you know, as long as you have it, not too much of it, I mean, it's actually okay. No artificial. There's no artificial flavors. Yeah. So even better. Yeah. All right. We're going to be getting into making this. So I got to open this this time without, without getting it everywhere like last time. I got to improve every time. So last time it just splattered everywhere. So I got it. It fits in, it fits in the bowl. I got my seasoning right here. I got my seasoning. And there's still a little bit in here. There's still a little bit in here. As you can see without... 
I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's still a little bit. Of, yep, you can see. And so I got my seasoning, then my pork, my pork flavor. Um, I'll put that down for a second. And I'm gonna pour the rest in here because we cannot waste. We cannot waste. So I'm gonna pour the rest in there. Cannot waste. And you know how I am with recycling. So this is plastic, easily recyclable. Just gotta clean it off a little bit. So, clean it off so the recycling plant takes it. Perfect. Nice and recycling. Right in there. We got Chef Du trying here. Come on now. What you doing? Running in the, into the camera like that. Come on now. Well, I was going to say, yeah, I saw this thing on Facebook. This doofus. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, we got our ramen in here. I saw this thing on Facebook about Raymond, rainbow ramen. Yeah, we about to do that. Yeah. Oh, my God. It ain't even show the recipes. Fill up to the fill line. All right, we got it nice and filled up to the fill line, as you could tell on here. A little shaky, shaky, and the water turns and turns and all. Well, not turns, it wiggles like a wave, you know. But yeah, and I'm 40 in a microwave for the three to four minutes. We'll do three minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, let's get it out. Let's get it going. Blocking my view. Come on now. Oh, you, you see, see my muscles? Like oh yeah, what's my muscles? Like? Oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Yo, my muscles are these. Come on now. You know what muscles are here. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My muscles are disrespectful. Let's let's see let's see these let's see the muscle comparison. We'll get in here. Yeah. 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 Let's see the muscle comparison. I'm the reason you got those, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. We out here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Come on now. Get in the mix. <laughs> no offense. I'm up there. Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. Come on now. Just saying. Now we just gotta wait the two minutes and 25 seconds. All right, it is complete. See, the good thing about this is I can I can time lapse it, so you know what I'm saying? So you don't have to sit there and hear me ramble like I usually am. See, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Oh, this is hot. But this time I'm not burning myself. Exactly, I know what I'm doing. Now you can see the steam coming off of it. You can see how good it looks and how good it's gonna look after I put the seasoning in it. All right, so I happen to get a napkin to put my fork on for sanitary purposes, you know? And uh, I got a fork, which is definitely necessary. So, yeah. Got our fork and napkin and our, our, our nice ram, rapid ramen cooker with our nice cooked ramen. And on top of that, we got our seasoning, which we are about to add right now. If I can get this open. We are ready to stir and mix the ramen. Mmm, look at that yummy deliciousness, you know. All right, all right, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting out here, you know. So, let me stir and mix this. Nice and seasoned up, and we are ready. All right, let's 
try it. <clears throat> Things good. I'm not too fond of pork, like the actual uh, meat pork, but I do like this, like a pork flavoring in noodles. It's actually pretty good. As long, you know, as long as there's not much pork in it or if it's tiny amount, I mean, I wouldn't care, but this is just the noodles with the flavoring of pork. I do definitely think this is really good. Um, for taste, I would give it a good zero out of 10, 10 being the best, zero being terrible. I would say it's a good six or seven, definitely. It's not the tastiest drama I've ever had, but it's not the worst drama I've ever had by any means. But this is really good, and I'm going to definitely finish this meal up. Now, when it comes to, to spiciness rating from zero to ten, I would definitely give it a zero. It's exactly the same as a chicken ramen when it comes to spiciness it just tastes like pork so yeah zero it's rated that now i will time lapse as i continue to finish this meal doing a good dent on this you know Pretty good. About to be finishing this up. Delicious. Well, okay. That was definitely good. I have to admit. This is my second mukbang and second ramen that i am um, rating for you guys so this is pretty fun like i told you before i'm changing it to all my videos are going to be in the form of a vlog except for maybe like a documentary or in lyric video and audio uh, lyric video and audio video for a song or something or like a wrestling montage but other than that i'm not going to be doing separate ramen videos I'm not going to be doing all these separate videos. They're all going to be in vlog format and be numbered as a vlog and continue to go up um, on the list. So other than that, I do not have much to say other than that was good. And then I'm not sure which one the next one is doing, but I have a lot more to be doing. So I will be doing all the ramens as well, not all of them, because I'll never get to all of them, but I will be doing as much as I possibly can and rating them for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure which number this is on yet because I'm behind in the editing process. So as I'm editing, um, I do not finish everything in time. Some I put in before others, even though one was filmed before the other one or after the other one. But uh, everything will be coming out. I'm getting faster at making music. I'm getting faster at making videos, doing all the other stuff I do, advertising, mu uh, music, um, videography, photography, clothing and apparel. All the stuff is a little bit more towards just me and my music and my videos. And my medical career. Those are the three that I'm working on. Is the medical career is number one, and music and videography is number two. But I try to fit everything in, do everything equally. Just medical field, I'm the most serious with. Everything else, I get to have a little bit more fun with it because it is pretty fun. Even though the medical field is very fun, but all of all of my jobs that I chose in my careers are very fun to me, and that's why if you, uh, you know. Always have fun doing your job. You never have to work a day in your life, they say. Now, I know that's a certain quote. Do I know who did, who is it by? I have no idea. But it's by somebody. Uh, I'm sure if you look it up on Google, it'll come up. Um, not going to do that, though. Don't really. I care, but at the same time, I don't care. You guys, if you care, go ahead and look it up. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, go check out the new Juice, Juice World album, Legends Never Die. That came out um, a little bit ago. It was really good, in my opinion. I did a vlog right before this, uh, the first ramen video and a listening party for it. It was really good. Um, 
I have been having a lot of big moves that I'm about to be making, so you guys will be noticing that, I'm sure. If you haven't noticed that, stop living under a rock and get out. Get outside, get out on the media, get out in general, stop hiding away, and doing nothing all day. If you haven't seen or do not see anything that I do, follow me. Put on notifications. Do something. Like, come on. I'm somewhat entertaining at least. I try to be at least. And I spend a lot of money doing the things I do for everybody. So, hopefully you guys appreciate the things that I do. I will catch you guys later on the next one. I love the way you activate your hips and push your ass out. Got a brother rolling this so bad I'm about to pass out. Wanna dig you? And I can't even lie about it, baby. Just alleviate your clothes. I'm the fly about it. Catch you at the club. Your hips have got me feeding. Body talking quick to me, but I can't comprehend the meaning. Now if you wanna roll with me.